Bell of America. Happy to have him here. He's a writer for Mad Magazine as well as a fine comedian. It's Harrison Greenbaum. Everybody give it up for Harrison Greenbaum. How's it going, everybody? What's up? My name is Harrison Greenbaum. I, uh, I graduated from Harvard, and now I'm doing this full time, so my parents are thrilled. <laughs> Actually, right before I go to college, my grandmother gave me two boxes of condoms, two boxes. And I was like, Grandma, why, why would you do that? And she just looked up at me, this cute little Jewish woman, and she said, because they're on sale. <laughs> which is like the worst reason ever to buy condoms. And they were magnums, which is presumptuous. If you didn't laugh at that last joke, it's because you don't know what presumptuous means. <laughs> Google it. My mom is cool too. She tries to use all the slang that she hears my friends and I use around the house. She's like, hey Harrison, I'm gonna go hook up with my girlfriends. I was like, mom, that means make out. She's like, oh, I thought it meant sleep with. See what I mean? She's, she's a lesbian in that joke. People think I'm gay. All right, good reaction. Um, <laughs> no, because I'm straight. I was like, don't make that face. Um, <laughs> I said I'm straight. You looked at me like, no, you like men. I could see it in your face. <laughs> you can't even hide that. That's the same face my mom makes every time I come home. <laughs> Jewish holidays are awkward. <laughs> mom, pass the matzo balls. I know you like balls. That's not. It's not fair. It's not because once people think you're gay, there's no proving that you're straight. Like you know what I'm talking about. And uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you walked in on me and I was just like making out with a dude, right? Don't get excited. But if I was just making out with a dude, you'd walk in and be like, he is definitely gay, and that's reasonable. <laughs> but you walk in on me and I'm making out with a woman, you'd be like, he's fooling himself, and that's. <laughs> Not that it doesn't have its advantages, though. You know what I mean? Like, nobody asked me to donate blood, so that's good. <laughs> it's an HIV joke. All right, it's going for me. It's crazy. I think I want to do a magic trick at this point. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah. Cool. Reason I do a magic trick is because my girlfriend, my girlfriend, screw you guys. No, she's, she's imaginary, but definitely a girl. And she... <laughs> And she wants me to be more like Jesus. And I was like, I'm a slightly effeminate Jew who can do magic tricks. How much closer can I get? <laughs> if you don't laugh at that joke, Wikipedia Jesus. <laughs> and then Google presumptuous. Because stand-up comedy is a beautiful art form. It's about sharing your thoughts with the audience. And I think it'd be really cool if I flipped the script and somebody shared their thoughts with me. So everybody, start thinking about a famous person, a celebrity, stick it in your brain. Is everybody doing that? Yeah. Does everybody have that? Um, you guys, you're right in the front. Where are you guys from? New York. New York, cool, what's your name? Abby. Abby, you have somebody in your head? Yeah. Cool, when I came out here, I put an envelope right here. Inside is a picture of a celebrity. Who's the person that you've been thinking about? And say it nice and loud so everybody can hear it. Drew Barrymore. I'm sorry? Drew Barrymore. There's a picture of Drew Barrymore in this envelope. Crowd goes wild. I get a standing ovation. I body surf my way out the room. <laughs> Here we go. Drew Barrymore, everybody. At three months old. Check it out! It's a baby! It's a baby! It's a baby! Who's it gonna grow up to be? I don't know. It's a baby. She could have said anybody would have worked, because it's a baby. It's a baby. She could say absolutely anybody would have worked because it's a baby. I'm sorry? What about Shaquille O'Neal? <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal? Touche. <laughs> but that's why I carry extras. So. <laughs> I'm a professional. I do this for a living. You don't think I carry extras? What did she say to Chinese celebrity? Gotta carry an extra one for that too. Just in case, just in case. What did she name a Japanese celebrity? Gotta carry an extra one for that too. Just in case, just in case. What did she say to Korean celebrity? Gotta carry an extra one for that too. Just in case, just in case. If you thought the last three were the same, you're racist. I did these on Photoshop, they are slightly different. 
What if she said a Mexican celebrity? Gotta carry an extra one for that too. <laughs> Just in case. It's the Asian baby with a mustache. It's the same baby, just with a mustache. They're not born like that. You gotta make this one. I actually had to make all of these. Do you know what it's like to blow up pictures of babies at a copy max? Not a way to make friends. Every time I go in there, they're like, there's the baby guy. Ooh, I do impression. Check this out. Angina Jolie's family. That's crazy. But I knew, I knew you were gonna say, Pamela Anderson, I knew you were gonna say that. And I knew you guys wouldn't believe me. So before this even started, oh wait, who'd you say? <laughs> you said Drew Barrymore. Okay, good, because that's what I wrote on the back. Are none of you gonna applaud? No, no, I don't want it now. I don't want it now, no, no, shut up. Are you kidding me? It says Drew Barrymore on the back. It says Drew ba I went to Harvard, okay? I went to Harvard, and this is what I'm doing with my life. With my life. Do you know how expensive it was to go to Harvard? It was like $250,000 a day. A day. And this is what I do with my life. My parents cry themselves to sleep every night. Every night, and they think I'm a pedophile at Copy Max. Also, I can do this trick. I am already recording this set so I can play it back to my dying grandmother. My dying grandmother. Do you know what she's dying of? A broken goddamn heart because I bring her silent recording because even though I just did a miracle, none of you will bother. Are you kidding me? This was amazing. Just want to appreciate all the work that I did. You guys have been great. My name is Harrison Greenbaum. Thanks so much.